Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So support for Windows 7 ended on the 17th of January 2020. And although support has ended for Windows 7 as an OS, it still remains a popular choice and is still used by 3.04% of Windows users. And that's according to the latest StatCounter Global Stats desktop Windows version market share video I posted about 13, 14 days ago, about two weeks ago, where Windows 7 is sitting on 3.04% market share. So it is still used by quite a few users. And I have noticed in the comments on this channel that it still does remain and was a very popular choice when it comes to the different Windows operating systems. Now, in regards to Windows 7, just to let you know that an unreleased version and build of Windows 7 has now leaked online, which was never released, which is the Windows 7 Milestone 3 Build 6758, which has now leaked um, on the web. And the images we're going to have a look at today um, were provided by Phantom of Earth over on X once again. And if we head to the first image taken, a couple of interesting things taking place here. First of all, in about windows we can see version 6.1 build 6758 and so on and this was windows 7 ultimate and yeah with the calculator if we just zoom in here a little bit with the calculator at the top here we get a ribbon ur that didn't make it to uh, the stable version of windows 7 so that could have been interesting with a couple of different options in the calculator app and if we move over to the paint app yeah, we can also see it had a new interface which never made it to the final release or the stable release of windows 7 so i thought that was interesting and thought you might also find this a bit interesting because i know there are a couple of you who are um, still using windows 7 and over and above those changes while we just go through some of the images provided um according to a beta wiki and i'm quoting this it also introduced a series of major underlying functionality and design changes such as underlying internal improvements to Windows Setup, Control Panel Applets, a new look uh, for the user-facing system shell, as well as incremental improvements to aspects of specific Start Menu and Windows Explorer functions, and that's according to BetaWiki. So there were a couple of differences to what we got with the final release of uh, Windows 7 as a stable release. And just on a side note, um, although it's not advised, you can download this version and build from the Internet Archive. And I'll leave the link down below. So if we head over to Internet Archive, here we go, Windows 7, build 6758, and here are the different um, ISO images. If you want access to those, you can download those. And just remember, though, I wouldn't run this on a main machine. I would use maybe an old machine that you don't use on a daily or... Um, I would recommend installing this if you want to try it out um, in a virtual machine. But nonetheless, you can download Windows 7 Milestone 3 Build 6758, which is leaked online. Yeah, the ISOs. And thought I'd just um, keep you guys in the loop because I know a good couple of you on the channel um, still use Windows 7. And as mentioned, according to those comments, um, was and is a very popular OS when it comes to the Windows operating systems. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.